Good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options coming to you with the morning market preparation video for January 31st, 2018. So we're sliding into the end of this month, the first month of our trading year, and it has been a little bit of a bumpy ride into the end of the month. Um, big gap down yesterday, um, selling into that gap just profit taking coming in a little bit of fear wound up into that um, the vix spiked up sharply we just had um you know we had stretched this rubber band so tight in this rally that it really was inevitable it was going to happen at some point in time that we were going to get some kind of a pullback um it's always painful when those pullbacks happen you know in an overnight session I can tell you that that is likely going to continue for um, the next several days. We could see that volatility uh, be a little bit challenging to trade over the next few days with lots of pre-market gaps and drops and things like that going on. Um, intraday price action could be very fast, could be a little bit challenging to trade. We can see intraday whips occur very easily. So what do we got in store for us today well first you know the the dow broke down uh, broke its trend but it held support and that's an important thing we're popping back up here this morning showing you know some confidence and and earnings are certainly helping that you know boeing boeing earnings just came out and we gapped up here on boeing um, everything seems to be, you know, coming in really good for our earnings. That's going to help us kind of shake this off, but there's going to be some volatility back and forth, um, for a little bit, um, uh, and it could make that quite challenging, especially for inexperienced traders, because the swings could, you know, we're going to see a, a change in speed of the moves here in the market. Take a look at the SPY. SPY also broke down, broke its trend, but did hold overall support. It's just that we've kind of extended this thing way too far. Now, if we if we happen to throw up a, you know some moving averages, we can also see we are very far away from our moving averages. Um, Anytime you see that kind of separation in your moving averages, you have to expect some kind of pullback. And what that means is if we bounce around here, it wouldn't surprise me at all to see this market kind of consolidate rather than really sell off. It could just go into a very ugly, choppy back and forth range that can be a little bit hard. And, and all, all it's doing is waiting on some of these averages maybe to catch up. We're, we're very extended and um, that would not be out of the question to see that. Okay. So keep, keep an eye on that. We could slip into a choppy pattern. Again, that can be really challenging for a lot of traders. Let's take a look at the cues. QQQ held up really well in comparison to the other two indexes. We did break our, our, um, our uptrend there, but only slightly and notice that there really was no um, uh, major selling going on here in the NASDAQ and this morning it's gapping up this morning trying to recover a good deal of that move um, yesterday so looking pretty strong here now don't rule out intraday whipsaws okay remember we have the FOMC meeting coming up this after or announcement up this afternoon if they happen to um, change their outlook on interest rates, we could see this market whip back intraday. So be very careful on how you trade this um, with with the uncertainty around the FOMC and, and kind of this, some speculation that they're going to uh, change up their policy on interest rate increases. We could see some back and forth here that that might be a little bit rough just you know just simply a rough road ahead is is what we could be looking at um and a little bit more challenging in the trading iwm yesterday um finally decided to break down and, and break its its uptrend but this morning it's looking for a gap up that looks like it could recover that right away so 
not uncommon if we break a trend and we pop right back the next day it was just an anomaly and um, all things uh, considered yesterday wasn't all that bad particularly if you look at a longer term chart you know if we take a look at at the diamonds and look at a weekly yesterday was really nothing um, in the scope of things it was <laughs> it really was nothing considering how far we've gone up so quickly so let's um, take a look at the VIX. The VIX shot up here yesterday, um, breaking this downtrend. Now, I've said this before, that I wasn't going to get really concerned with this market until we break this downtrend, and then if we pull back and hold it as support. If we were to pull back and hold this downtrend as support, and see that volatility continue or that market fear continue to hold, um, that would be a concern for me. If, for example, that doesn't occur and today we come, and we very well could, come right back down inside this range and then just continue to bounce around in here, um, really no major concern if that occurs. So one pop out does not make a trend. And we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that to see if this is just an anomaly or if it becomes more pronounced with a hold of support. Take a look at T21-22 and you're going to see that we had a substantial pullback yesterday bringing us right back down here to the bearish reversal zone. Now this big gap up this morning that right now it's been growing um, now looking about a 160 point gap up this morning, we could um, easily pop this way up into here toward the middle of the range. And just these huge gaps, we're going to swing back and forth here can make this, like I say, a little bit challenging. But today we or yesterday, we probably um, overdid it to the to the selling side. The bears just kind of overbaked the short term move there. And so a pop back up would be normal. And it looks like that's what's going to occur. So um, let's take a look at what's on our calendar today. We've got a lot going on on the economic calendar. Um, ADP um, employment report out at 815. We've got employment cost index. You know, these have actually been really strong. Um, the cost index has been increasing a little bit, but nothing um, out of the question there. The Chicago PMI is registering you know since they started recording this about 50 years ago we are at or um, at or very near the all-time record highs uh, for PMI the uh, extremely strong um, in that sector so business is doing well and there's no reason to think that's going to change pending home sales also looking for an increase today and looking strong um two really important things today the eaa petroleum report that's been showing a down trend um, in supplies and an increase in demand as winter goes on that could easily continue so we'll kind of have to keep a, an eye on this if if we get some kind of surprise here um, a big move in oil could certainly be damaging to the market. So kind of keep an eye on that. And then, of course, the FOMC. Now, it's very possible we could see really choppy price action uh, ahead of the FOMC. I mean, really ugly, whip, whippy intraday back and forth trading as we wait. You know, after this morning pop, um, the morning rush comes in we could easily slip into a bit of a sideways, really extremely choppy uh, market as we wait for the FOMC. And remember, right after the FOMC, we could get very um, uh, big swings in the market. So be careful heading into that. You know, if you're an inexperienced trader, if you're a new trader, um, if you've been struggling as a trader, today might not be the best day to be trying to trade. Today might be a day to kind of, you know, put your feet up, pop some popcorn and watch the show rather than um, get in there and, and fight a challenging price action uh, type market that's possibly uh, going to occur here today. So be very, very careful and, you know, make your decisions wisely. Remember, not every day is a good day to trade and we certainly do not have to um, uh, chase into a difficult market. Um, 
on the earnings calendar, about 150 companies reporting today. Lots of back and forth uh, could occur in these companies. I think for the most part, everyone ex is expecting pretty good earnings to continue um, out of these companies. That's certainly going to help this market. But if we get some jitters around an interest rate increase, you know, things could change here. So uh, stay tuned. It could be a little bit of a bumpy day. It could be a little bit of a bumpy rest of the week. Um, so everyone have an awesome, awesome day. If this is the first time you've seen this information, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button on Facebook. And, you know, feel free to share this with any friends and family that you might think find this helpful. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment if you feel that it's worthy. And folks, um, I want you to understand that this is part of my mar market preparation. And, and I, I truly believe that preparation is much more important than about anything else when it comes to trading. If we prepare, if we have a plan, if we work um, methodically as a business in our trading, your trading will improve. So please, you know, if you find this helpful, stay tuned. We're going to, I do this every single morning. Um, and um, you're welcome to that information. I just share what I do and it. It's at absolutely no cost to anyone. So everyone take care. I'll talk to you very early tomorrow morning.